Hey Slackers, I'm Sam and this is Slack Life TV presented by Gibbon. <laughs> This past week, the Slackline World Cup happened in Munich, Germany. Slackliners from all over the world came to compete in this competition. The crowd was loving it. I mean, look at them here. With such an awesome venue like Koenigsplatz, it was such a great view of the Slackline arena and people were just up in arms and totally in awe about all the cool tricks that were going down during the competition. The competition kicked off with 32 slackliners competing in the qualifier round, which gave these qualifiers a chance to compete against the pros that were invited to the Munich World Cup. These slackers battled amongst themselves to compete against the pros and they did really well in order to fill our final bracket for the nitty gritty competition. Highlights of the Munich World Cup 2013. 15 year old Giovanna Petrucci surprised the crowd when she outslacked Lucas Huber, last year's Munich World Cup champion. As you all may remember, Giovanna was the one that won the wild card competition and the all inclusive package from her hometown in Brazil all the way to Munich to compete in the World Cup. She totally proved she had awesome slackline skills by getting her spot into the quarterfinals and now ranking top 8 among slackliners in the entire world. Another highlight from the World Cup this past weekend was the quarterfinal battle between Carlos Neto and Jan Rosa. Jan was sticking combos that had never been seen before. I mean, these tricks were like backflip to bunt, bounce to static tricks to exertions of pure strength on that line. It was incredible what he was putting out out there. Carlos also stuck some great combos in order to outdo Jan in this quarterfinal. This was no easy choice for the judges in this competition. The trick that must have put Carlos over Jan during this battle was Carlos landing a super clean 720 spiral. The crowd and all the slackliners present went totally wild. It was beautiful. A movement of total beauty. Super epic and Carlos congratulations once again for that. Benny Schmidt from Germany competed against Justin Wagers in order to fight for that third place spot on the podium. Both slackers put out some awesome moves but in the end Benny beat Justin in order to take over at that last spot on the podium. As for the battle between first and second place it was between Carlos Neto from Brazil and Alex Mason from the United States. Those two were trying to outdo each other for that top spot. Alex Mason who won the World Cup USA just a few weeks ago was competing to hold his spot as world champion. Both Carlos and Alex were out for the win. I mean, makes total sense. This is a slackline competition, right? Both slackers did an amazing job. They kept the crowd pumped throughout their entire performance. And in the end, it was Alex Mason who won second place and Carlos Neto is now the new World Cup champion, Munich 2013. What I have for you guys here are a few outtakes from the top three slackliners currently in the world. That is Benny Schmidt, Alex Mason, and number one, Carlos Neto. have a post-win interview from Carlos Neto describing how it felt to win the Slackline World Cup. Here you go, check it out. World Cup champion, how do you feel? Oh, that was amazing, I feel so happy, so happy. My dreams come true. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Slack Live TV. We will see you next time and we'll let you know when that is as soon as, well, we know. Right now, this is Sam signing off to go live the Slack Life. Gibbons?